Using functions in Microsoft Excel. A function in Excel is a preset formula that helps perform mathematical, statistical, and logical operations. Once you are familiar with the function you want to use, all you have to do is enter an equal sign in the cell, followed by the name of the function and the cell range it applies to. These are the operator symbols plus for addition, hyphen for subtraction, slash for division, and asterisk for multiplication. Let us also remember these other symbols that we can use in functions or in formulas. Equal sign, less than, greater than, or greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, or not equal to. There are hundreds of other preset formulas offered by Excel. Sum, it adds value in a cell range. Example, equal sign, sum, A5 to A16. Again, sum function is a function that allows us to sum numbers easily. We can type in the function actual numbers, but we can also use cell references and sum entire ranges. The syntax of the function is quite simple, equal sign, sum, and the cell reference. For example, the range of cell B6 to B17. The average function is used to calculate the arithmetic mean of a range of cells. We can type specific numbers or cells in this function or just select a range we'd like to check. For example, to calculate the average, we have to write equal sign average and select the range. Max function is used when we want to find a maximum value within a range of cell. While the mean function is the opposite of max function and it's used when we want to find the minimum value within a range of cell. Now, let's try to find maximum value using max function and minimum value using mean function. The median function is to find middle value in a cell range. Let's take a look at this example.
the square root function. It finds square root of the value in a cell. Equal sign SQRT, then the cell. The proper function. It changes text to the initial caps. The syntax is equal sign, proper, and then the cell range. The upper function is changes text to all caps. Equal sign, upper, and the cell range. The lower function is changes text to small letters. Equal sign, lower, and the cell reference. Let's take a look at this example. And we have this now function. It displays the current time of the day. Just type equal sign now and open and close parentheses. If function Use if function to check whether a certain condition or conditions is met. If the condition is met, the function will return a predefined result. If the condition is not met, the function will return a different predefined result. The result can be one of the following specific text, cell or range reference, additional formula and we can actually write another formula within our if formula this is called nested if the syntax of the if function is as follows equal sign if then the logical test this is the condition we would like to check we can check condition using various operations such as equals greater than smaller than or even different so let's say we want to check if cell B7 is greater than or equal to 60. Our value, if true, is what the function will return if our condition is met. In this example, our value, if true, is pass and the value, if false, is fail. Nested if is a combination of more than one if function which can help us check multiple conditions. So when we add one if function within another if function, we create a nested if. In this example, we have two conditions. It says only full-time students and if the full-time students with GPA over 4.5 gets a discount, otherwise, they don't. So the system generates a random user. We are going to check if she or he gets a discount and return yes for the value of true and no for the value of false. There are so many ways to do it. Let's try evaluating the gpa if it is greater than 4.5 then evaluating if it is full-time or part-time we will start our formulas by equal sign then the if function so we have equal sign if function and our logical test 
is testing or tracking the GPA if it is 4.5. B10 greater than 4.5. That is our first logical test or our first if function. If this is true, then we have to check if the student is full-time or part-time. So we will select another if function and make a logical test b9 equals full time remember if you are writing a text in a formula you have to insert it inside a quotation mark then comma and the value for true is yes and the value for false is no. Then we have the value if false for our first logical test, which is no. And then close parenthesis. So this is our nested if function. Our first logical test is testing the GPA if it is over 4.5 and the second logical test or our second if function is testing if it is full-time or part-time. Now let's try another way let's check first if the student is full-time or part-time then check the GPA if it is 4.5 so equal sign if function and our first logical test is testing or checking if it is full-time or part-time so that is C9 equal sign Remember, if it is a text, you have to put it inside a quotation mark. Quotation mark, then full time, that is our first logical test. If the first logical test will say yes or will meet the condition, then we have to check for the second logical test. So another if function and our second logical test is the GPA if it is over 4.5. There are so many functions in Microsoft Excel. Today, you've learned some of those and let's learn more next time. Thank you for watching this video.